I'm Guy Somanath. I'm VP of Product at Signified. I lead both the product management and product design teams at Signified. Signified is the leading digital commerce protection provider, and we um, optimize merchant revenue as well as um, reduce their operational costs through automated risk decisioning, as well as operational services, managed services like chargeback recovery. So we've serviced merchants for years now, and we serve some of the largest enterprise merchants in the world. And this gave us an opportunity to help financial service, our financial service customers differentiate themselves and compete Pete to be able to provide value-added services to merchants. So they're able to use our fraud decisioning technology with one of the largest networks in the world, um, which is our commerce network with thousands of merchants, to provide those risk decisioning services to merchants uh, to increase their authorization rates, um, as well as provide value-added services with our liability shift offering. So we have um, our merchant product, which is our Fearless Conversions product, which has been in the market for years. And here at Money 2020, we're launching our Fearless Payments product, which is our offering for payment processors or acquirers. Um, we are providing the value of our fraud technology to um, payment providers to be able to differentiate themselves and provide value-added services to merchants. So they can, um, there's a lot of false declines and this primarily happens in the payments layer. And so by using our signified commerce network, we can boost authorization rates um, by being embedded in payment processors, decisioning systems. We can also provide the liability shift, which is a value-added service. Um, also, specifically in EMEA, um, where you're dealing with SEA, um, we're able to use our fraud systems um, and provide that to a payment processor and they can really increase the number of exemptions that they request for having the trust that they are accurate with, um, with signified technology. So um, we, we just talked about Signified's fraud decisioning and the commerce network. As an individual PSB, you're typically only going to have, um, your models and machine learning are going to be restricted to your network. Whereas Signified, outside of Amazon, has one of the largest commerce networks. And we see transactions from so many merchants. So by providing that decisioning to a PSB when they are sending transactions through for authorization, they're going to block a lot less. Um, and they're going to send a lot more good transactions through. And this will send more transactions through for authorization, which will lift um, authorization rates for their merchants. One of the biggest benefits is the fact that, um, you know, with card not present transactions, the liability has for fraud has always fallen on the merchant. And with Signify's uh, offering, the PSP can actually provide a value added service now to their merchants to make their products look more competitive by offering a liability shift for chargebacks. And that's not just limited to fraud chargebacks. We also have a product called Complete Chargeback Protection where you can protect um, um, your merchants from all chargebacks. And so that's a really significant benefit. Um, I also already mentioned uh, dynamic exemption management, but that's also, uh, you know, merchants themselves don't have have um, the means to request exemptions, um, a lot of that happens within the payment processing layer. And um, in, it is difficult for a payment processor to go in and have to build in all of that decisioning um, and manage fraud rates to send those transactions over for exemptions or they should be stepped up. And so Signified can offer that as well. So we have existing um, customers today, um, for example, DNA Payments uses uh, our fraud um, decisioning um, within their uh, payment processing layer to send more transactions through for authorization and thereby increasing approval rates for all of their merchants. Um, we expect lifts from 5 to 9% on approval rates. So our goal is to continue to make commerce fearless. And we want to do that by continuing to increase authorizations and conversions across all the entities involved in digital commerce. So whether that be merchants, whether that be payment processors, whether that be issuers, we want to provide the richness of our commerce network and our, and our platform to be able to make better decisions and get more transactions through and approved.